All right, we're about 15 hours away from Austin FC's first ever playoff match. A distant dream just one season ago, but this season, the Verde and Black have been history makers from second to last to second place. Diego Fagundes has certainly resurrected his career here in Austin. He's having himself a career year. Six goals, career best 15 helpers. So, to get you set for Sunday's first ever playoff match, let's go outside the box with Austin FC's head turning midfielder. Look good, play good. That's the name of the game for Diego Fagundes. Your hair obviously very special, noticeable on the pitch. What makes your hair so important to you? I always painted it uh, different colors. Pink for breast cancer, purple, green, blue. People recognize me because of my crazy hairstyles. Uh, mohawk, long hair, I just did different things. Do you remember the first time you really experimented? Uh, I don't remember exactly the first time, um, but I did have long hair and I remember my sister would do like ponytails or something crazy on my hair. I actually told them the other day that maybe in the off season, let it grow and do some curls. I don't know, something different. Um, who knows what, how it's gonna be next year. I feel like a lot of experts were maybe writing you off, but here you are this season, career year, part of 20 plus goals. It's been pretty impressive. What do you think that says about new territory, new places and making the most of it? I was in New England for so many years, did a lot of things, uh, broke a couple records over there, but um, I needed a new change. And when I came here, I've been trying to do everything I can to to prove to them that I'm still here. Um, I think everybody thought after 2013 that, that Diego was done, um, and I wanted to prove everybody wrong. So does having crazy hair, unique hair, make you play better? Of course. Um, I always say if you look good, you play good. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes the green doesn't work as well as you want, so you don't go back to it. They're saying when I don't have my hair done, uh, team's not winning, so we have to do it. We have to get it done. What about purple? What about the color purple that is special to you? Purple is just a lot of meanings around uh, the world. So um, sometimes I was going to do a pink this this month for breast cancer, but uh, I decided I, want, I wanted to stick to the purple and. Um, something about the purple still attracts me and I, and I like it. So maybe maybe next month or maybe in a couple weeks, I'll, I'll go pink. So how often do you get your hair done? Ah, that's a tricky one <laughs> because it, sometimes I go three weeks, sometimes I go two weeks. I don't want my hair to fall off, so after... Me neither. After, <laughs> I probably bleach it every two to three weeks um, and then haircuts once a week, sometimes once every two weeks. It all depends uh, if I can get on the list or not. Um, if you can make it to the, to the sign up sheet in time and be in the top three, four. Wait, there's a sign up sheet. There is. So for, for people at home, Manny here at Quality Over Quantity Cuts comes to the facility sometimes, cuts the team's hair, does a great job because now I see Manny. But there's a sign up sheet. Does it get pretty competitive to get your name? Top yeah, four? of course. There, there's some argument on who's top three, four, and if you're not there, sometimes you have to wait a couple hours. And am I jealous of everybody else's hair? No, I like my own hair. And... Now let's talk a little bit more about the the game itself on the pitch quickly. Second to last last year, second place this year. What has been the biggest change in your mind? I think the chemistry on the team. Last year it was we were a whole brand new team, uh, twenty something new players. Um, not everybody knew exactly what kind of team we were going to be, and it's hard to have chemistry with that. Um, this year we added a couple new players, and we already had the old players, so it was kind of easier to bring the new ones in, and I think we're doing a good job, and everybody's hungry. We want more, and playoffs in this league is tough. It's one game and you're done, so everybody needs to be ready for it, and it's going to be a battle. If you're wondering why I was touching Diego's hair, it's really soft. He wanted me to see how soft it was. Uh, just a reminder, you'll be able to watch Diego Fagundes and Austin FC take on Real Salt Lake tomorrow right here on KVU. Match starts at 2, our Austin FC chase for the cup. 30-minute special starts at 1.30 live at Q2 Stadium. Hope you'll join us and hope you'll stick around right now for one final check on the forecast.